If you've been on Instagram any time in the past couple days, I know you've seen a Spotify rap picture pop up. So today I'm gonna to explain what it is to you guys if you don't know, and I'm gonna explain what it can do for you. You know that we come in liars. Uh, I'm gonna keep praying to God. Yeah. Uh, tell those little niggas stop it. Uh, tell my mama that I got this. Uh, you know that we come in liars. What's going on guys, it's Pimp Fried Rice. Welcome to the Music in the Millions podcast, the show where we give independent rappers the tools and resources needed to be successful without waiting on a record label. So it is that time of year where everything is wrapping up. We're about to start a new year, which is going to be great. Hopefully it's a lot better than this year went. And Spotify, something they do every year, is called Spotify Wrapped. Spotify Wrapped is a summary of how well your music did this year, and it puts those stats together for you on a really cool sheet, so that way you can actually share it to Instagram, let people see it, and you know, get a feel for how well you did. It shows you the number of streams that you got this year, the amount of hours that people listen to your stuff, it shows you how many listeners you've had this year, and also what countries you were streamed in this year. So it's a really cool little, like I said, a graphic they put together for you that is awesome. It gives you that information, but it also looks really nice, and that's why people share it all to their Instagram. Also, if you're getting a lot of streams, it's kind of like a little bragging right for some people. One thing I do want to mention is you have to have a Spotify for artists in order to get the artist Spotify wrapped up because there is a Spotify wrapped, which is basically just like for regular listeners. That just is a summary of all the people you've listened to this year. Like it gives you how many hours you listen to them, who were your top people you listen to, like when was you the day you listen to the most songs, how many times you listen to one song in a specific day, like just random facts like that. But it's all geared toward listening to music. You need to actually have a Spotify for artists account in order to have the Spotify wrapped up for artists. And also in your Spotify for artists account, they put together like this little video for you. It's like a little uh, slide presentation that tells you all the facts and stuff like that. Like they got this world spinning and they got all this other stuff. And it's pretty cool. It tells you like you're streamed in this country and this country and you picked up this new country this year. And this is how many people are listening to you and this is the day uh, that the most people listen to your music throughout the year. Like cool little facts like that. So it's a pretty cool thing that they put together and it's nice that they do it and I feel like each year they've done it, it progressively gets a little bit cooler looking. But yeah, that's basically what Spotify Wrapped is. So if you don't know and if you haven't seen it already, which I'm sure you have, like I said, if you've been anywhere on the internet recently around the rap community or the music community, I'm sure you've seen someone posting theirs. But yeah, that is what it is. Now let's talk about what it can do for you and something to keep in mind when it comes to this Spotify Wrapped. The first thing I want to go over is what you need to keep in mind when it comes to it is you are going to see a lot of people out there whose streams are in the billions, whose streams are in the millions, whose streams are in massive numbers compared to what may be insignificant numbers or what feels like insignificant numbers to you and they feel so small in comparison to these people. But the thing is, you can't compare your numbers to these people, especially if it's a person like Drake or you know Travis Scott that's getting billions upon billions of streams. If you try and compare yourself to them, all you're going to do is make yourself depressed and upset and feel like you can't compare because you're right. You can't compare to someone who has thousands of dollars in marketing, pushing it on the playlist and other stuff like that and getting their music heard in ads and other stuff like that. Like there's reasons that these people are getting such massive streaming numbers. So if you're comparing yourself to them, all you're going to do is just hurt your mental state and you don't want to do that. So when it comes to the Spotify rap, the only person that you should be comparing it to is to yourself. And that's actually what it can do for you is it is a benchmark tool to show you how well you're doing each year. It's kind of like how kids used to like put their back against the wall and then their parents were marking the door frame to see how tall they would get each year. That's what the Spotify rap should be for you and you should use it that way. So it's like, okay, last year I got, you know, 100 streams total. Well, this year I got... 1500 streams it's like even though that may not be a lot compared to Drake's 15 billion or whatever number he has that's still a massive difference from what you got the previous year that means you've gone up that means you've leveled up as an artist and you've got more fans you got more listeners like the fact that you're in more countries is always better like when I got my Spotify rap this year one I didn't really promote the music that I did put out I only put out two singles and I didn't push them at all that's because I didn't really care and they were on a whim. And I know it went against everything that I pretty much preach in this channel, so it, I don't want to have to go on that tangent. Maybe I'll explain that in another episode, but I really did not do any marketing for them. I just wanted to put them out because they were stupid shit that I came up with and they're fun. So here's my marketing now. Go check them out. 
But yeah, my streams and like my numbers and everything are so low. Like I think total for the year I got like 37 streams and I was listened to in two countries. So it's like those are pretty insignificant stats. But I know next year, which like I told you guys in other videos, I'm going to be an artist again. I'm going to start putting music out. I already know that my stream numbers are going to be way higher than that. So that little beginning benchmark is just kind of like a laughable number at this point because I know next year when I apply all the stuff that I actually talk about in this channel with my own music, I know that I'm going to blow up. Well, not. I know that my music is going to get a lot more success than it has before and without me putting any promotion behind it or anything like that because obviously, guys, promotion is key. You know this. I preach this all the time. But yeah, that's what the Spotify rap is. That's what it can do for you. It's not something I really need to explain in that much detail because it isn't really that difficult of a concept. Use it as a benchmark. Don't compare yourself to people who are at a higher level than you. And just, it's something to enjoy. If you want to share it with your fans, do it. If not, keep it for yourself and just keep progress. Uh, like I said, use it as a benchmark. Mark your progress. Yeah. Speaking of wrapping things up, guys. We are wrapping up this year, and I want you guys to cop some Music in the Millions family merch. We got the Good Posture Gang tees. We got Pim Fry Rice tees. We got the hashtag I Don't Need a Label tees. Drop a link down below. Make sure you guys hit that. Grab some merch. Join the family. You already know you got to look good when you're coming into 2021. Drop a comment down below if you posted your Spotify wrapped, and if your Spotify wrapped actually leveled up from last year. I want to know how's that stats looking. Are you going up or are you going down? Hopefully, you are going up. Uh, have a great rest of your day. Like and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Peace.